Hi, welcome back to Forwards Electric. You have still caught us at the top of Farley Mount. So we're here still with the monstrous Orox. And I just wanted to do a, I'll just show you the, the view at the moment. It's not a particularly bad place to work today. Uh, we found ourselves this um, quite nice, quiet location at the top here to, to get some video footage down. It does say, just really quickly, that it's private land, but I've spoken to the farmer and he says it's okay for me just to be here. I'm not sort of damaging it. Uh, although I suppose if I went in the field, I would. But anyway, I'm just doing a video about the, um, the people carrying uh, uh, options on the back of your new turn Oryx. So we're going to cover off what we've got on it now. And then I'll just talk about what other options you um, you could have. If I have got time when I run back to the shop in a second, I'll just uh, add those to it quickly and show you. But um, for now, we will just show you what we've got on it. So I have gone with the, um, the Clubhouse free on the back. And this is the latest generation three, should I say? So it's a Clubhouse G3 or generation three is what turn turn sort of know it as, uh, or call it. And then it's got the um, the angled um, bar on the back, so this can come with a a flat bar on there or the angled bar. It's it's fitted with the angle bar, so the angle bar allows you more space at the back of the Clubhouse to put two seats. But I'm probably getting ahead of myself, so I will um, start back a bit further further back in the journey. So. Clubhouse 3, a uh, difference between the Clubhouse 3 and the Clubhouse 2, which is the previous model, hence the number, is the um, the Clubhouse 3 has a welded construction with these long aluminium plates down the sides. So these are just a nice smooth plate all the way down the side of the, of the Clubhouse, and then these bolt down through the top of the rack. These can be fitted to GSDs and they can also be fitted to the Orox. And as far as I can see with the Orox is this will not take the Clubhouse 2. So I'm looking at the um, front for adapters and brackets and stuff where I know that the uh, Clubhouse 2 will go and I can't see it. So I believe it'll only take the Clubhouse 3. And the main difference on the Clubhouse 3 to the Clubhouse 2 is the ability to be able to have two of the newer styles, two lay Yeps child seats. So they're the ones with the clamps that clamp to the sides. So there you have a, a clamp that go this way and this way. And then you can just side them slid backs and forwards and then they'll they'll fit into into there. And that is why you would have this bent bar at the back, and that's if you've got a two two seat baby seat so the baby seat would be pushed to the back and then the backrest would then come into this extra gap so it gives you a bit more space on there as well and this this backrest would also be the space that you'd fit your storm box to if you had a storm box um, i will speak to turn about seeing the possibilities of having the storm box on an rx but currently the storm box won't fit technically because it doesn't reach the decks at the bottom so it will hang but it won't have the the benefits of the deck at the bottom so the storm box basically isn't compatible at the moment so your first option would be to have your clubhouse so if we just go in there in the order of the the, the baby or the child growing up so you've got your your, your clubhouse with a um a yep inside and then the clubhouse is really good when you've got a yep inside because this acts like a sort of crash barrier really like if the bike fell over or something then you've got like a little crash protection around the child which is um is quite nice so you'd have your your two lay yep at the back you'd either have one child or two children on the back uh, and then they would be in there until they're old enough to come out um so you could have your one option is you could have your yeps and then you're just away or you could have a yep and then if i show you the um the other sort of seat options we've got in here so these are the bases for using with your um clubhouse free so you basically this is a modular system so first of all you buy just the rack bit which is the clubhouse free and then the, then you'd use your two lay yep child seat which is a separate product that would be inside that and then as the child child gets older or you need to carry other passengers you then buy these pads and these pads are first of all the base pad they come in is a, a free part system so if you wanted to just have one child say on the front which is a slightly older child and then you could have a yep behind or you could have this at the back and then you could have the um the yep in the front so i mean it 
you'd have to just see the spacing wise of it and then you then would then need a backrest because obviously you wouldn't be able to lean against here so what two they do is they sell a backrest as well so this would velcro to the bottom and then the backrest goes in there and then this this strap here goes around the bar and holds that in place that would work better if you had the straight bar with the long bar there it's a bit of a stretch that so that that should really be used with the um the flat bar um going across there the, the flat bar does come with the um the kit so that that would come there so you'd have that on there and then when you get rid of the yep all together and you want to carry two passengers you then have another seat base and then you'd have two seat bases with the backrest with the flat bar at the back there and then you've got two passengers nice and happy in there so there's there's certain rules that they sort of um two they sort of set out for the setup of this that you need to have the first of all the top section which is the the section for the children or the adults to sit into and i mean an adult could just climb over this and then put their feet in there and then you've got the benefit of this i quite like this solution because then you can put your box in there as well if you're sort of doing that later but maybe i'll cover that quickly in a second in the video so you've got this top section the other thing that they sort of insist on or they say you need to have of course is somewhere to put your feet so you then have this um this lower rack which um, are the, these lower foot pieces, should I say, or decks they're called. And if I put my camera down there, these decks here fold up. So you can pull this in and out and then fold that up. So if you didn't have these side panniers, this would just lift up out the way or you need to drop it down flat, which is quite nice. And then um, you could also use these panniers here, which are the um, cargo hold 72s. You can open these up and then they, they do like a bucket mode for this. So this would sort of fold out and then all this folds down inside. I'm doing this live so you'll see how sort of easy or tricky it is. Just with one hand, I'm making it as hard as possible. So these will sort of go in like that and then fold those out. And then you end up with like a, a place where you can pop your feet so the passengers can drop their feet down in there and then they'd stand on that lower deck down there as well. Um, if you didn't have these on the sides, which is generally how we carry our kids. We basically would have the the, um, the decks down the bottom, the top seat, and then you need to have something to stop their feet going into the wheel. So you have these XL guards, which are on the side. So these are another accessory, it's an accessory there. So the XL guard comes in two parts. You've got this, and then you've got this top section, and then it stops their, their feet, legs, hands, or anything like that, drifting into the wheel and then them getting injured and stuff. So that's kind of how I want you to do it. So you have your top section, your guards, and then somewhere to put your feet at the bottom there. So that's, um, that's the option with these these seats here in the UK, £25 per pad. So that's £25, £25 for the back pad, uh, the, the real one, so those two £25, and then the, the back rest is £30. So that's that system. It comes in a module system, which is quite good once you get your head around it. Um, well, not quite good. It's really good when you get your head around it. So you buy the rack first or this clubhouse, and then as the children, so then you buy the rack, then you get the yep, and then as the children get older, you then you'd use the backrest and, and then um, add another backrest later. So that's that option. Then if um, you want to carry a passenger and they're much bigger, you've then got this option, which is the uh, um, sidekick seat pad. So this has got this, um, this click fix system on it, which is pretty cool. This won't work with the, um, the clubhouse free. So you'd have the no clubhouse free on it. And then what you do, is you um, click this onto these bars so these bars down here would go under that front clip and then these little pads sit onto the uh, the rack below it doesn't work though with the um the clubhouse because the clubhouse is um, narrower there than the um the rack fits in there so i can't show you that clicking on but i'm sure it does work um, straight onto it so that'll go on there but then you'd be saying Ian, well how are they gonna not fly off the back when you're heeling down the road the other thing of course um, term would say is you need something to hold on to so they do this which is the um the grab handle and then this would just strap on with velcro straps on the front so of course you haven't got this rack apologies if it confuses things this rack wouldn't be there you just would have this clicked on to the the carrier itself underneath um underneath there and then that would be another option and you'd not have these and you can have just the uh, those lower decks there down the bottom so what i might do is i might go back with a bike to the shop 
and then um, just do some cutting footage showing you showing you what that all looks like because I haven't got any tools out here to be able to, be able to whip that off so hopefully that gives you an understanding and I haven't confused things. So that gives you an idea of the um, carrying capacity on the back so you can carry one child, two children, one adult on the back, um, all sorts of crazy stuff and then go out and get muddy like this. So I should probably leave the video there. I've gone on long enough and bored you. If you like videos like this, please just let us know anything you want to know down in the comments about anything you want me to cover. And then I'll try and cover that off with, um, with the Aurochs or any of the other electric bikes. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.